What is going on everybody? Welcome back to the channel. So today's sponsor of this video is Boost Auto Parts. Major shout out to them for partnering up with the channel, hooking us up with some of the baddest mirrors I have ever seen. These things are insane. We're gonna be getting them put on the truck. So if you guys missed last video, I wired the truck up to be factory with power mirrors. The truck did not come factory with power mirrors. So if you have a truck that does not have power mirrors and you're wanting to do that upgrade, because you want some badass boost auto parts mirrors, go over and check out that video. I will show you exactly what you need to hook up and make it just like from factory. Plug and play everything. Now it looks a little terrifying when you see all the wires but I've got a diagram from Boost Auto on how to hook all these things up. So these two right here go to our normal power mirrors. This one right here is our normal power mirror. This is our heated glass option. And then these are our turn signals and running lights and such. And then this is what controls our power extending and power folding. Yes, you heard that right. Power extending and power folding. That means not only does it power extend on its own, but will also fold in on its own, which is absolutely insane. We're gonna get the old mirrors pulled off the truck right now. Go ahead and get these bolted up, and then we're gonna start doing the wiring. All right, to get started, we have a snap clip that holds on this plastic cover. This is a snap clip style right here to remove the door bezel. You wanna pop up from the front, and then slide it out because there is a plastic clip at the back that will break very easily. And then we have two seven millimeter bolts. You will have one directly underneath this bezel when you pull it out. Then you have one where your reflector would be at on your door. Get those two seven, seven millimeters removed and we can remove the door panel. Now you just wanna remove the plug for your mirror and then you have four bolts holding the mirror on that are behind these rubber grommets. Just remove those rubber grommets, unbolt it. Putting the window down will help you grab the mirror from the other side so you're not trying to reach over. If you do have an extra set of hands, they always help as well, but you can do this by yourself. little comparison between the two so these are boost auto mirrors and mile high duramax denver bought me these about eight months ago i don't remember where he bought them we've got the chrome caps with the smoked lenses now my plan was to paint match this and then probably just wrap this like a satin black to match our satin black and color match theme that we've got going on and then i was actually going to paint match these uh, these markers but i searched everywhere for switchbacks and i could not find them that would just wire in directly to these 99 trucks. And this is where Boost Auto came into play. So I was talking to Aaron and Nick over at Boost Auto, told him my plans with the truck, told him how I wanna color match everything. So we opted out for the chrome caps or the paintable caps. I'm going to be completely color matching these entire headlights. And then we've got their new switchbacks, which I have already seen these in person. I saw them in Miami at the Florida truck meet and guys, they are insane in person. I was actually gonna buy a set of these for those mirrors. So if you already have these mirrors, you can buy just the switchbacks. Just to let you guys know, you can buy them. I wanna say they're $150, which is not a bad price at all for how cool these things look. Look at the fins inside these switchbacks and then you can see the bright LEDs right there. These things are quality. These are very, very nice. You can tell just, Guys, I'm not, not trying to BS you. You can honestly tell that this plastic is not just cheap, just Chinese bull crap. It's, out, it's honestly very nice. We've got our mirrors on this side and I'm smacking this because those mirrors rattle. I mean, just me smacking over here, that one's rattling over there. So already so much nicer. So I've got our grommets 
back end up here. Now to get to all of our wiring for these mirrors, I'm going to be removing the speaker housing right here. Get this moved out of the way. If you're running factory six by nines in here, it's going to be a little bit different mounting, but these are just six and a halfs that I had gotten with my radio that I just threw in here for the time being until I do the audio in this truck. So we're going to pull this out, start tackling our wiring. All right, so it's a couple days later and don't really know what happened, but somehow we fried the new power mirror switch that I had installed in the truck. Don't really know if we touched wires somewhere or what happened. Boost Auto Parts has amazing, amazing, amazing customer service, guys. I'm telling you, I was doing this Saturday morning and about one o'clock, I reached out to Aaron, the guy I've been working with over at Boost Auto, kind of told him what issues I was having. He hooked me up with Adam, the customer service support team. And guys, I'm telling you, we sat on the phone for hours, running different wires, plugging in different things, had me bypass the module for the power folding and extending, had me plug in all these different mirrors over here. So this is the uh, passenger side boost auto, the aftermarket driver side, aftermarket passenger side is still on the truck. We were trying so many different things and what we were having the issue with is I had no left and right in this mirror. I had up and down, I had no left and right, but everything was working over there. Even plugging in the driver side mirror on that side, everything worked. So after about three, four hours of us communicating back and forth over the phone, trying to figure out what was going on. We finally kind of narrowed down that somehow we fried the switch and when it was in the left or the driver's side position, we just fried the left and right controls. I've got everything figured out. I've got all the wire ran underneath the dash. Um, I ran the, the red and black power wire is for the heated mirrors. I'm going to run that to my aux beam switch panel that you guys have seen me install in the past. So I'm gonna run it through the firewall as well as our turn signal and running lights for the switchbacks in this mirror. So we'll run that to the turn signals and we'll run that power and ground to the aux beam switch panel so we can have just a switched style heated upper and lower glass. That way it doesn't get left on or anything like that and I can control when it's on and when it's off. I will be mounting our wireless switch panel on this back side of this door and then I'm gonna be taping and zip tying all these wires up so it doesn't look like this big nightmare. As for the module itself, I'm gonna be tying in these two wires into this yellow with the green tracer. So this yellow with the green tracer right here is going to be our switched power and this black wire right here is going to be our switched ground. These only come on when the key turns forward so the module will only get power when the key turns on. And you'll know if the module is working or not because as soon as you turn the key on or you hook power to it, it beeps letting you know that it is functioning properly.
you're doing this on a 99201 F250, it might be same on the 02 to 16 body styles. I'm not entirely sure, but at least on 99 to 01 F250, your turn signal wires are going to be a light green wire with a white tracer or a white stripe and a white wire with a light blue tracer or light blue stripe and in order to get this cover off right here you have three screws on the bottom and then you have to put the key in the ignition key right here and turn it to the run position set your parking brake do not try and start the truck when you put it to the run position look from the bottom up with a light get yourself a pick or a very small screwdriver there will be a little ball that you will notice it's not actually a ball but it's just a tab that you press in and you can then slide the tumbler out the tumbler will come all the way out and then to remove this top cover you'll have to drop this all the way down to first gear the top cover will slide out and over top of this you can then put it back in park slide your tumbler back in and turn your key forward to test and see which wire is which uh, but I've already told you which wires are what for this truck light blue with or white with the light blue stripe is your right turn signal your passenger side the light green with the white stripe is your driver side your left turn signal Interior is all back together. That was my lanyard, not a wire. Everything is all back together. No wires are showing, nothing. So, the coolest thing about these mirrors, besides the fact that they have switchbacks, heated upper and lower glass, is, watch this. So you're gonna select your left mirror, or we're selected on the left mirror. You're gonna go left, left, right, right. You just heard that beep. Now watch this. If you hold it all the way to the left, that is your power extending. So both sides are gonna extend all the way out. Now if you hold this down, like so, the mirrors are going to fold in. Now you can leave it like that or you can fold it back out by pressing up. And then you can unextend them by pressing to the right they will come back in. Now they don't have to be extended to fold in, so I'll just go back, fold them back in. You'll hear that beep after 10 seconds and that is how you shut them off. And then to activate them again, it's just left, left, right, right. You just heard that beep. And then let's extend them back out. Simple as that. If your truck came factory with the heated mirror glass, you won't have to do anything besides plug it in at your harness in the door. My truck did not even come factory with power mirrors. I actually wired up these mirrors myself to the switch with all the factory plugs. You guys can check that video out, it is on my channel. Uh, but my truck did not even come factory with power mirrors, so it did not come factory with heated mirrors. So what I did was run a power and ground from each heated mirror plug, which is your gray and black wire. Your gray being your positive, your black being your negative. I ran those to a bus bar that I have underneath the hood, which connects to my aux beam switch panel. So they're actually on this fourth switch right here. I haven't had, I haven't had the time to put the sticker on it yet, but that switch right there will turn my heated upper and lower glass on. So I don't have to worry about it being constantly on or anything like that. I just press that button and my glass is heated. If your truck came factory with the heated glass, you'll have that switch or that button on your dashboard already. So you'll already know how to work with that. As for everything else, everything is plug and play all except the modules and the switchbacks. Like I showed you with the switchbacks, 
you have wires in your steering column that you can access and then I just used a ground underneath the dash there is a metal metal support bar that runs completely underneath the dash I just put a ring connector on the ground wire and I just grounded it out underneath the dash to an ex existing bolt that was already there and then for the modules for the power folding and extending I just went to that constant hot that was in the switch panel on the door which is your yellow with green tracer and then the black wire and that same plug is the ground and that is a keyed relay so as soon as you turn that ignition on that's going to get power which is going to send power to your mirror so you don't have to worry about it being a constant draw or anything like that all right hopefully you guys enjoyed the video if you did make sure to go down to the description and click the top link in the description that'll take you to boost auto parts website where you can check out their massive inventory of mirrors they have key fobs they have so many different things on their website all the way from wireless chargers to mirrors with switchbacks to just the switchback housing itself go check it out you might find something that they have for your truck they've got ford dodge chevy you name it, they've got it on their website. You guys go check them out. And I want to give a huge thank you to them for partnering up with the channel to send these mirrors out for me to make a video on them. And I hope I gave you guys the best install that you guys have seen. You guys won't have any questions after watching this video. If you do have a question, drop it down below and I will do my best to answer it for you. But if you can't get in touch with me by the comment section, reach out to Boost Auto Parts. They have a great support team with so many people that are willing to help you, whether it be Monday through Friday or Saturday and Sunday. I got help when I needed it, so I know they'll give you guys that same help. So make sure to check them out by clicking that link in the description. Go check them out on Instagram at Boost Auto Parts. Check them out on YouTube at Boost Auto Parts. They've got videos that if I didn't explain it as well enough for you guys, you guys can go check out their YouTube and might answer that question you're, have, you're having there. Again, thank you guys for checking out the video. Make sure to check them out. I will catch you guys in the next one. Peace. Be fucking great.